Hello everyone, today we're going to be testing out the Urban Decay Face Bond Waterproof Foundation. This has up to 24 hours wear, 3% niacinamide, and can't feel coverage. So if you'd like to see how it looks, wears, and feels, stay exactly where you are because we're getting into it right now. All this is apparently a self-setting foundation. Water, sweat, and humidity proof, smudge and transfer resistant, no powder needed. I'm probably still gonna use powder, let's be honest. But it's cool, it's not necessary. 3% niacinamide, formula clinically tested to improve skin texture feel after four weeks. I love a good complexion product that also has skincare in it because it's like, Double benefits, look awesome right now and look awesome later. And of course the can't feel coverage, lightweight, medium buildable coverage and a non-comedogenic, so it's not gonna clog those pores. It also has a vegan formula and this is one fluid ounce. I got the shade 12 light neutral and I picked it up from Ulta. It's $40, so it's definitely not an affordable foundation, but it's also definitely not the most expensive foundation. Oh, I have very mixed feelings about this. The component is really really cute. It's like super tiny. That does not seem like one ounce at all. Okay, one ounce for $40 really isn't that bad, but when I look at it, this does not look like a $40 product. Just cause it's so teeny tiny. But you know what? That means it is full to the brim and there's not a whole lot of extra space for air. So technically it's better. It's better for the environment. It's better on waste because there's not a lot of extra component that gets waste. So we'll look at it as a good thing. I've always been a huge fan of the Urban Decay aesthetic. Urban Decay was actually the very first makeup brand that I ever purchased from and it was the Born to Run palette when that one had first come out. Do you guys remember that? This one right here. This holds a special place in my heart. The nostalgia of it when I was first getting into the makeup world, the whole industry, this was like perfection for me. Let's just pray the foundation holds a special place in my heart like the palette. Now before I go in and slather this foundation all over my face, I'm gonna use the Ultra Glow Primer from Urban Decay as well. Okay, we are primed and ultra glowy, as they say. Now for the foundation. Oh wow, that's a really interesting cap. Oh, I think that it's meant to be like a no mess cap. Like the excess product will suck back inside of it. Let's see if that's what it does. Well, just a little bit but it goes right back in, yay! That is gonna be so nice to travel with. I don't know how many times I end up with foundation all over my bag because a cap came off and it pumped. Good job, Urban Decay. The shade seems to be about right. It's about close enough. A little on the yellow side, but you know, I've been seeing a lot of brands with their light medium neutral shade being a little more on the yellow side. Okay, that's not bad at all. That looks really, really good actually. The coverage is definitely a medium right now, more like a light medium, but we know it's buildable, so we can really get it there on the areas we need to. I'm gonna start out with this first layer and just leave it pretty sheer, see if we can make it look more like a skin tint. You know, cause some people like that coverage and they wanna hide the things, but they don't want it to look like there's anything on their face. So far, this seems like it's natural enough that it looks just like that, super skin-like. Seems to be drying pretty quick too. Yeah, for one layer, just on the outer edges, that's beautiful. But I desperately need more coverage than that. This time, I've got a little bit of razor burn going on down here. I wanna see how it covers that up. Cause that's like my problem area. And around the nose especially, cause that's a really red place on me. Okay, wait a minute. What? Medium buildable and it still covers with one layer. That is the kind of coverage I like. Usually at this point, it's almost necessary for me to go in with a sponge just to blend out any brush strokes that are still in the foundation, but this is 
flawless. I see nothing wrong with any of this. I'm still gonna go with my sponge because I'm a creature of habit, but it looks really, really good. The thing that's kind of blowing my mind is it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. It's kind of weird because I can make my facial expressions like I normally would, and I can typically feel product on my face. Not like a heavy feeling, but I can usually feel that there's something there. This doesn't feel like there's anything there. And now that I'm going in with a damp sponge and making the foundation kind of damp again as well, it even more so feels like there's nothing there. And they totally were not lying when they said it doesn't need set. At first, I kind of thought that it was maybe a little drier on my skin, which was sort of surprising since I went in with that ultra glow primer, but it's not really a dry feeling. It just looks matte, like it's dry, like it's not wet foundation sitting on the skin anymore. Well, by itself, it has an A plus in my book so far, but will it work with other products well? Let's try the Stay Naked Quickie Concealer with it. And since this is so flawless and I don't need to set it, I'm gonna go kind of sparing on the concealer. I kind of want to try now to see if I can get away without setting the foundation anywhere. Just get a little bit of highlighting going on. And for the contour, don't judge me. I know this is hella expired, but this thing is amazing. I got it at TJ Maxx for like 20 bucks. Yeah, TJ Maxx, 20 bucks right there. But it's got a little bit of everything you need for your face and I know they don't make it anymore and I know it has to be so old, but look at all those creams. You got a little bit of something for everything. And then the powder versions of the same thing. I feel like they should have kept this one going because I would have kept buying it. I think I remember the shade being too dark for me though. I look pretty ridiculous, but I love it. Then I use my baby sponge for the concealer. Then the big butt of my big sponge for the contour. For blush, it's gonna be Hydromaniac and Unhinged. Take a little bit on the back of the hand. I like to use the same side of the sponge that I used the bronzer and contour. Go ahead and just really saturate that. Oh, I love that color so much. Ooh. For cream highlight, it's the Urban Decay Prince Highlighter. And again, back of the hand, butt of the sponge, and top of the face. Ooh, she still had quite a bit of blush left. I thought that I had gotten all the blush off of the sponge. I did not, or not all of it. I mean, I wanted a little bit left, but not quite that much. Easy fix. We'll just saturate it so much with highlighter. There's no blush left on top. There she is. Welcome to the party. Ooh, cute. And do you know what? Surprisingly, I don't need to set my forehead. So I know with editing, it's kind of hard to tell what exactly the timing is on each step and really how long I've been wearing the foundation. Just know that it's been on for a good, probably 30 minutes at this point while I was putting everything else on and my forehead is still so smooth looking. I mean, you can see the lines that are there as you would with any product, but for this to not be set, that's super impressive. I would say that you can get away without setting it. At this point, all I have left to do are the eyes. I'm going to set where I put concealer, but that's the only places I'm gonna set because I wanna see how this wears without setting it. So I will see you guys for the first check-in. We are now coming up on five hours and you guys, I love this foundation. Because the coverage is medium buildable, you can still clearly see my primer shining through the foundation. I'm glowy, I'm dewy, and that's also one of the reasons why I think my forehead lines look so good. And without setting anything at all except my under eyes where the concealer was, that is fantastic. I'm obviously very expressive and that tends to translate in my makeup because it shows on my forehead, but because this coverage is so flexible, it just really lets the skin move and breathe freely. The only thing I'm not really a fan of is when you're working with it, it acts like a matte foundation. I'm assuming that's because it has the self-setting properties, but because of that, it kind of tends to be a little drier. It seems like it's about to dry completely and you're not gonna be able to work with it anymore. I was able to, luckily, just having drier skin that's not normally something I'm looking for, but it looks just so good that I really don't care. I didn't touch anything up. I haven't powdered or anything. Well, I did fix my lip because, honey, it was terrible. Oh, I ate Outback steak and chicken. Ugh. 
Oh, so good. But it destroyed the lip, so we had to fix her. But other than that, the face is as it had been. I do wanna see really quick just how it looks after we set it again. It touches up really well. It helps blur everything and re-mattify everything, but it doesn't smear. You know, some foundations, if you wear them for a little while and they start building up a little bit of oil underneath them, they can kind of move around, especially if you have a glowy primer underneath. This doesn't move at all. It is ready and locked in. It truly acts like a waterproof foundation. It's just a pretty matte formula. So be ready for that to be prepared. Know that your other products are going to blend a little bit slowly and you might need to wet the sponge a couple of times to get it going. But 3% niacinamide, it is literally lightweight, and it definitely self-sets. So even though it has that sort of matte feeling when it goes on, I'm gonna say it's definitely a great foundation. I need to wear this to a pool party, and I also need to wear it with a non-glowy primer so that I can see what it looks like both ways. Let me know what you guys think. What kind of experiences have you had with Urban Decay foundations? Seems like I've had pretty good luck so far. Let me know down in the comments. You guys know I'm always hanging out down there with you. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up just to let me know that you did. Also, if you like this look and you want to see more looks like them, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. My username is the same for everything. It's just Christopher JMUA. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.